Alright guys, welcome back. So, uh, last time out we played uh, Chelsea and uh, we did pretty well against Chelsea so hopefully this time we're going to have a, a much better game than we did last time against Middlesbrough because last time we played Middlesbrough um, uh, it was difficult, it has to be said, it was difficult and we only, only just got there in the end against them so hopefully this time uh, it's going to be a little bit different and we'll be able to get a good uh, win here hopefully so here's Shimizu! Shimizu! Perfect start! Unbelievable right there um, I didn't even get time to explain uh, what changes I made obviously Shimizu's in there um, I've gone with Rubinho and Giladino along with him up front um, no Gerard in there today great 10 here slotted in the bottom corner goalkeeper did make a di uh, dive for it um, so yeah um, I've got uh, Leb in there instead of Gerard today and um, I think my back four is I've got John in there along with Carragher I've got Risa at left back Finnan at right back um, I've got Matthew in the middle uh, along with Alonso so uh, hopefully pretty good and it's a much better um, well to be honest last time we played Middlesbrough um, actually uh, we played them and we took the lead quite early on um, so <laughs> you know what I mean uh, maybe oh god um, it might not particularly be good what's uh, just happened there so we'll have to see Here's Matthew into the middle. But yeah, uh, Schwartz is on international duty as you saw last time, so there's no Schwartz and there's no um, Haman either. Um, so we've had to switch things up just a little bit. Uh, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I mean. Schwartz has been absolutely amazing this season, but I think we can handle one week without him. Shilladino's going to chase that one down. Here's Rubinho there. So Rubinho is in there um, as well. So hopefully that'll be all right. Here's Rubinho. Um, you know what I mean? When he played that game against Manchester United the other week, he was amazing. Oh, Shilladino off the post and Ted and off the bar. Unbelievable. so close but yeah Shimizu and um, Schwartz 17 and 18 year olds right there <laughs> and uh, they've been playing absolutely excellent when they played so can't complain whatsoever about it hopefully we'll be uh, on for a route today which would be nice oh here's Rubinho and it's in and it's an own goal it was not Rubinho's goal there uh, deflected and in 2 0. Starting very well today. But yeah, we to be honest, today we're looking for a much better game uh, than we had against uh, Middlesbrough last time. Um, but you know what I mean? It was, that's just unlucky there. I mean, Xavier there put it into his own there. He used to play for Liverpool, if I remember correctly. Um, a bit unfortunate for him. And that's a foul. No card given. Good. But yeah, um, I decided to take Gerard out just because um, I thought he could do with a rest. And I don't know. I just, I just, I thought I'd just take him out and rest him today. So I don't, I don't know really. Um, but I thought Haleb was on good form, so I thought I'd just go with him and see what happens. Because um, you know, what I mean, we've got some. We've got some pretty tough games to think about. I think uh, we've got... Is it Bolton next, I think? I think we're playing Bolton next. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, that, I mean, we should maybe get past Bolton pretty easily, but you never know. Um, but, you know what I mean? There's a lot of there's a lot of hard games coming up because we do have Arsenal. We do have to play Manchester United twice. Um, so, you know what I mean? It's just uh, kind of thinking about stuff here and there. Is Giladino. It's Carragher. It's John. I think John has played really well, actually. You know what I mean? Um, oh, God. Um, I think he... 
like last week he got that assist and whatnot. But besides that, he's played really well. You know what I mean? He's been defending really well, and you know what I mean. I would like to sign him. You know what I mean? Especially with him being quite uh, young on this game as well, he would be a good signing, I think. But we'll soon see. Oh, that's a great ball to Shimizu. Here he is. Shimizu could have been, and it wasn't. And that's a goal kick instead. Shimizu making a real big impact today, actually. He's really impressed me so far, even though we haven't been playing too long. That's a ball over the top. James Morrison. But yeah, looking back at the uh, at the Chelsea game, actually, um, it was just it was just amazing. It was just epic. And here's Giladino, and it's a goal. Three 0 just absolutely making uh, just <laughs> I don't know what to say to be honest. We're just making a mess of uh, of Middlesbrough today. Lighting glitch. If that's the correct word to use, of course. But, um, yeah, they had nobody up there. Giladino was in all kinds of space. All he had to do was hit that bottom corner, and he did that just nicely. I'm glad that giladino has got another goal, because he's, uh, he's played a few a few games, I think, and he's only got, like, those three since his debut, so... Uh, you know what I mean? I want as many goals as possible here, because this is a really good start. Oh, here's Shimizu again. Oh, and it's Giladino. Oh, nearly. Maybe Sh Shimizu should have gone it for it himself. But those long balls seem to be uh, paying off quite well um, here and there. You know what I mean? Maybe I should use them a little bit more. Here's Shimizu again. Oh, the keeper was just to it. He's he's uh, he's just absolutely um, terrifying the Middlesbrough defence today. Oh, that's a good ball. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to get through. But here's Giladino. And back to Giladino. Just shot after shot. It's just, it's just a case of how many goals can we get here, I think, almost. You know what I mean? I would like a, quite a few goals today if we can. Absolutely on fire in this match so far. Kennedy. Good pressure there. But yeah, like I said, there's no Gerard or anything like that, and uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. We're just playing really well. Oh, Reina to it. I think last time we played Middlesbrough, I think I put Carson in goal for it actually, if I remember correctly, and uh, I think he played pretty well, from what I remember. Um. Just a few more, like that. And Alonso could have been. I don't think. When was the last time Alonso got a goal? I can't seem to remember. I'm pretty certain it wasn't too long ago, but he hasn't got many goals for us. Carrier, Alonso. Couldn't find Shimizu. He's down in. They're in a good position down the left. Get away from Downing. <laughs> this looks like a promising cross. I think Downing, to be honest, when he played for Liverpool, he, he was all right at first, I thought, but after a while, he just—I don't know—he just uh, he wasn't—he wasn't cutting it really. You know what I mean? He wasn't now taking on the keeper. just doing it for anyone. And I passed it, and I really shouldn't have done that. I f Shimizu was supposed to be running in there, and he wasn't. And that's going to go out for our throw in anyway, so I guess it's not too bad. And that's Rubinho, and it had to be, and it wasn't. He just missed the bottom corner there. Middlesbrough just defending is all over the place. We're having chance after chance. This is just going to be an absolute rout, I think. And they're bringing on uh, Parler there. Playing really well so far. 
Break it out. Defense well here. They can swing it in from the right wing. And, he sent and it it's in. back into the middle. That's a wear. Good defending by Carragher. Oh, and that's a brilliant ball. Can he pick, he can't pick out Shimizu, unfortunately. An and a foul. He's back on his feet and seems to be okay. Not worthy of a booking, says the referee. Parler. I think uh, I've put Messi on the subs, actually. Uh, Felipe is on there as well. And it's back into the middle, and it's a wear. Nimeth there. You have to keep making chances on goal. Unfortunately, that wasn't accurate enough. Finnan. Carragher. Oh, it's just a wear there. And it's out. Uh, and that's the end of the first half. Absolutely amazing. What can I say about that? Just, we were all over them. Just, they, maybe they had one or two chances, but we were just too dominant there. So, more of the same, and we should be good. Alright, so second half. Um, yeah, I, I want I want more of that then. Uh, we've had a known goal, we've had a Giladino goal, and we've had a Shimizu goal. Um, so I guess Rabinho is the only one left out on my uh, from my attackers there. But uh, other than that, no, not bad. But um, yeah, like uh, when we uh, we played United. Um, not too long ago in the uh, in the cup, and uh, that was a really good game. And here's Giladino, and that's div yeah, it's a corner kick, uh, deflected there. Um, when we played them, uh, I remember um, Van Nistelrooy getting a uh, he got a hat trick against us, and that was a really bad ball there. Um, and for some, he got a, he played a part in all of United's goals, all four goals. He got a hat trick and he got an assist. And the game only gave him a six point five. And it just kind of made me think a little bit that you know maybe sometimes it just is a bit harsh. That was a pretty good shot actually. Um, but yeah, like I don't know why it it's uh, it's like that sometimes. Like I know United lost and we put six past them and and whatnot. But still, I think. I think, to be honest, that, like, yeah, I think that's a little bit harsh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think I've ever seen a 10.0 rating before, um, and I don't think I've ever seen, um, maybe I've seen a 9.5 once, I think, or maybe twice, but, like, I don't know, I think it's a little bit harsh sometimes, the rating system. I mean, like in the last match, I mean, Matthew got that, um, he got that assist against, um, Chelsea when he, uh, when he put, um, Schwartz in with that really long ball, and he got a 7.5, and I just think, I, I don't know, maybe it was just based on that assist, possibly, but, oh, Shimizu, and it's over, he should have really done better there. We'd love to have seen a goal, but it wasn't quite up to it. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to tell you to be honest. Viduka. Giladino. But like the, uh, you know, the the cup final is coming up soon. You know, hopefully we'll uh, we'll make it through to that. You know, we should do to be honest. Shimizu. Uh, Finan's won it back, he's kept it going, he's putting it into the middle, oh, he couldn't pick him out, it's come back out to him though. Oh, it hasn't. And Reina's going to boot that one out. Good reactions by Reina. But yeah, um, so I don't know. Um, but like, yeah, the um, like the cup final, um, I've had to do a l I've done, what was that? Wow. Um, <laughs> I've never seen the computer do something maybe that stupid before. Didn't that happen in the last Middlesbrough game or something similar to that? Or was it me? Oh, it's got to be! And it wasn't, and it was offside, and if he just passed it maybe a split second before then, it may have been a goal, possibly, but it was a good save there. 
Um, but yeah, I've had to do a little bit of rearranging because I, at the start of the season, I wanted to plan out when I'm going to upload certain parts. So, for example, like what games are going to be played on certain days. And uh, recently, um, I've decided that I'm just going to re do a bit of rearranging and like the cup final, I've, I've moved that around. And like, for example, like say, for example, we're not in Europe this season, but like the UEFA Cup as I'm going to call it, and the Champions League, as I'm going to call it, even though it's not called that in this game. Um, like, I always want those finals to be played in May, but what I'm going to do is, like, sort of, like, give, like, a couple of weeks before those finals, so it's kind of like a build-up process. I don't, I know for a fact that we're not in it, you know what I mean, I, I know that, but, like, just to sort of, like, build a bit of tension on it, a bit of suspense on it, um, which I've decided to do, but, like, so... You know, the season, you know, is going to end, like, the same time. I did make a, a video about the um, the times um, that I'm going to do it um, for uploads. But they are all subject to change. So, like, you know, you know, certain days are being moved around here and there and whatnot. So, and that's offside. It keeps getting offside, Shimizu. Um, so, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's going to be... You know, a little bit different here and there, but, um, you know, like, the the season's going to end around the same time, so, you know, there's nothing to worry about there, and I took it too far there, I should have probably shot first time. Right, well, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to bring off Rabinio, I think he's doing really well in this match, um, I'm going to bring him off, and I'm actually going to put on Messi, so, I think we're in a comfortable position to do so, I mean, we're not, like... The Aston Villa game where I made the, some subs and maybe I really shouldn't have made the subs and that maybe changed the game a little bit and blah blah blah. But um, I think that's what I'm going to do here. And that was deflected by my own player. Um, I've still got two other subs I could use but I'm not sure who to bring on in honesty. I have to maybe think about it. I kind of want to keep Shimizu on because he's had a really good game. Um, here he is, and it's a foul. Yeah, and uh, Rubinho hasn't really had a got got like a lot of time to play this season so far since I've signed him. Um, which I understand, but his stamina is a little bit... He does run out really quickly. You know what I mean? He's a great player, but his stamina is the one, his one main weakness, um, I would say. Hit it, again. it is a problem. It's kind of like Cissé, but his stamina is a bit of a problem in that. So I'm really not sure. I'm, to be honest, I, I, I kind of don't want to bring off Shimizu, but I think I'm going to have to in a second, so just thinking about it so I'd probably do that oh and he did really well to run past him there Shimizu it's into the middle here's Haleb Shimizu still got it couldn't get it back into the middle it's a corner Giladino I'm going to do something really different here and I'm going to bring on <laughs> Morientes. Morientes is on the same form as Shimizu, so we haven't seen him for like forever, but I'm going to just throw him on and see what happens here. Why not? I mean, we've had an amazing game, so probably one of the last appearances we'll see him more than likely, but here he is. It's Morientes! Oh, and he almost had the goal! <laughs> almost with an immediate impact there. That would have been unbelievable. Oh, here he is, Morientes. James Morrison. No, oh, we've run it back. Here's Messi. He's run past his defender. Here's Messi. He's going to shoot. Oh, just over. It was close. It was a good run. 
Oh, nearly. Uh, finally, uh, Alonso's stamina is getting pretty low, so I'm going to take him off and I'm going to put Sissoko on. Sissoko, who I almost forget can play as a striker apparently on this game, so <laughs> which I do want to test out at some point, probably in the preseason for next uh, season. Well, this match is coming to an end pretty shortly, so oh, Messi won it back, but he's lost it. And it's headed away by Reina. Maybe not the best decision ever. Oh, and Rockenbeck's got lots of space. Sissoko's running in. He's run past him. It's away, and it's in. It's 3-1. Slack defending nobody there on that right side there. Sissoko had to cover it, and he just did, couldn't get there in time. Veruca scored. It's not too bad because we've played well, but still it would have been nice to maybe have had a clean sheet today Soko just almost nearly had it there but didn't but never mind 3-1 we should still have this game in the bag so I'm not going to complain about that too much I don't know where Finan was, but uh, maybe he should have done a little bit better. One last goal would be nice, maybe. I don't know if we're going to get it. Oh, but here's... Oh, Messi. Can we get this last goal? Can we get one more, maybe? Oh, and we can! Giladino, how about that? I just had the feeling, and it was a good feeling. And that, actually, was a similar position Berbatov was in last time we played Millsborough. With the uh, the corner there, and he ran in, and then he just headed it in. Just like that. That's very strange. But we've had a much better game against Middlesbrough today, that has to be said. Very nice, 4-1. Pretty good game. Mid, quite easy work out of that, to be honest. Uh, I don't think Middlesbrough played particularly well. We was all over him. We was just all over him today. So, individual game records. How about that? Steve Finan has got the man of the match. I don't think we've had a defender get it, apart from Matthew that one time, and possibly Risa, I don't remember. But how about that? I think he, if he deserves a man of the match at least once, and I think like everybody played well and everybody played a, a part today. Um, so, you know what I mean? And, and he got it there. Maybe, apart from that goal at the end way, maybe he should have been marking... Um, was it Rockenbach or someone? Um, but yeah, uh, Messi 6.0, Morienta 6.0, almost had a goal and Sissoko there. But well done to Finan. I think he finally got his man of the match and he deserves it. So results time. SGN have beaten Tottenham 1-0 there away from home. Uh, Arsenal have beaten Aston Villa. Uh, Blackburn and Newcastle there 4-2. How about that? And Newcastle have lost points there. Uh, Fulham have beaten Manchester City there, Everton have beaten Portsmouth, uh, Charlton were hammered 3-0 by Chelsea, we beat Middlesbrough 4-1, and Manchester United have hammered Bolton 5-0, so hmm. um, looking at the table, still four points in it, the uh, goal scored though, 66 goals we've scored this season, Manchester United 64, it's so close, you know what I mean when you put it that way, um, I mean we do have the goal difference over them. You know, we've got 14 over them, but still, it's uh, it's really close when you put it that way. Uh, looks like there's no difference apart from SGN and Newcastle switching places there. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to see what happens. And SGN and Newcastle might get. Um, oh, well, it looks like those teams will get uh, European football at the end of the season. But moving down to the bottom, uh, only change there's Aston Villa have moved down, Everton have moved up. Um, again. Charlton, Manchester City's still uh, scrapping to survive, I guess. Uh, to end off, um, this is fixture 22. So game week 22, uh, we've got uh, Charlton 
against uh, Aston Villa. Arsenal are taking on uh, Tottenham at home. So, uh, you know, it's like a trilogy there with Arsenal and Tottenham because they've got them in the cup as well. Uh, Middlesbrough and Portsmouth there. Uh, we obviously travel to Bolton. Chelsea taking on Blackburn. SGN are taking on Everton. Manchester City and Newcastle. That could be an interesting fixture. And Fulham and Manchester United. So we've got UEFA Cup winners against European champions there. So thank you guys for watching this episode. And we'll see you guys next time when we take on Bolton away. See you guys then.